On part two of episode 18, we discovered how the slot worlds disappeared magically. We also had the Tet end of year party, which was in February this year. A lot of fun. <laughs> But alas, no one could find any sound of music, so we had to settle for this. We are the Jews, my This is Adonis, the master boat builder, keeping an eye on the build. Are <laughs> you trying to get out of frame? I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that uh, you have your windows already. Oh, because no. when I left uh, last week. Yeah. I've got to be careful with disturbing Adonis all the time because he sees me filming and he comes up to talk to me and I'm trying to you know, let him do his work. So, um, I mean, he's a top guy. You know? I mean, whatever it is, he'll solve the problem, talk to you about it, and, uh, alleviate all your fears and stress. He knows what he's talking about. I have to now hide and film him because otherwise he comes up to talk to me uh, and, and I'm disturbing him, so I know. And here they are discussing the tricky job of welding inside once the new shell plate comes on. Yes, there will be slot welds here to help, but we also would like to get inside. There isn't a lot of room. Enter the smallest guy in the room. It's the biggest guy that we have and that's why, you know, that's the advantage of being an Asian. <laughs> This is a part of the bow shell plate. Let's check out how much this weighs. Think about it, people. Put it in the comments. Oh, wow. It's so light. I think I know what the weight is. If you look at it, it's six meters long. So it's got to have some weight in it, but it's still light for what you see. Aluminium, it's amazing stuff. I don't know why more people just don't insist on having aluminium boats. I mean, I know why there aren't so many aluminium boats out there, because it's a labor of love. It takes a lot of effort. Everything has to be meticulously cut, then tacked, welded, and then you've got to weld in a certain procedure so you don't distort the frame. I mean, it really is a labor of love. And boat builders, they want to make money. It's hard to make money when there's a lot of love that goes into a boat like this. But it's worth it, safety-wise. There's no, there's, there's no other boat material for me, none. Got more and more complicated shapes coming in. I haven't seen the plans on this, so I don't know exactly where they're going, but this looks like the deck. Pick it up and also pick up the, the front part of the keel. It's just bulky. It's also at the wrong height. What is it? The clean and jerk? What's it called when you go whoop? <laughs> I'm not doing that, people.
Let's see how it uh, handles my weight and the bend. Well, can easily take my weight. World's greatest jigsaw puzzle, people. Especially if you don't have the plan. Now that is one hefty stiffener. I mean, we know because of this is so delicate and so long and thin, there's a good chance that when you're welding up here and it's cooling and then you're welding down the ear, it's gonna get some kind of distortion. So they're really trying to stop that. And look how many they got. One, two, three. And it's great. Windows are going in, people. You remember when I got sick and I was smelling that industrial smell? Well, every so often when I take a breath, I'm not, when I say every so often, maybe once every two days, I'll smell it. So I think I've still got the, the virus and I'm still uh, tired. So I come into the Odyssey office and I have a little rest. They're actually all, <laughs> not all of them, but some of them are lying on the floor in the office. It's just that there's too much noise for me to try and sleep. <sighs> I missed half of this or two thirds of this going up. I was in a meeting. We had a long discussion. I got this last bit, but I don't know.
That's done. A few hammer blows, just more added love to my boat. Oh, it's a veritable orgy at the moment. So many hammers, people. Feel the love. All I can say, there's lots of love from both ends. I think there's a term for that. That's right, people. Extra love. That's what it is. Don't go reading into this. This is a family orientated boat build. Welcome to the market. And today's not even crowded. Oh, look at my hair, people. Only a mother could love. Hi, Frank. Hey, hey my friend. Hey. Everything's super fresh. Everyone's super hey. friendly. It's really hey. nice. Hey, there's my, there's my usual taxi driver. <laughs> oh, good stuff, good stuff. All right, I'm gonna go shopping. I need to get um, some breakfast. They are so big into flowers, like there's flower places all over the place. Unbelievable. It might be this time of year because it's around tech, but um, flowers, flowers everywhere, especially yellow. Every second property has a mango tree. So there's mangoes here selling for cheap. I'm going for the meatballs today, not the spring rolls. Let's we'll see how it is. I feel like having balls, people. Every conceivable Vietnamese vegetable, meat product that you can get here, ducks, chickens, pork, beef. I don't know about lamb though. But every, everything in profusion and super fresh. Either cut this morning or butchered this morning. Right. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast. So, uh, bon appetit to you and bon appetit to me. This is fresh, people. You get to pick your chicken or, or rooster. Sometimes they sell roosters too. And then, um, They do everything for you. How cool is this? A 
I think that was a lot. Oh yeah, it's a lot. Well, there you go, people. You can't get fresher than that. In fact, it's still kicking as we speak. And these people, they know how to work. These markets start at 6 and go to like 8.30 or 9 at night. And I've seen old ladies carrying these huge flower pots. They go at it all day. I mean, I shouldn't say anything about Western women, but I will. These women here, they know how to work. I saw them drying out fish yesterday. The heat of the day, they've covered up, they've got the mask on, they've got every little bit of skin covered with um, clothes, even their feet, and they've got divided toes so they can wear um, thongs. They're completely covered, and it's like 33, 35 degrees, and they're slaving in the sun. Go at it all day. It's a different world.